shop. I'll be waiting for you. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us. Today, as part of this year's 31 Days of Oscar Film Festival, we're celebrating Best Picture nominees. And our next film today qualifies for that status under any standard you want to use. From 1969, Paul Newman and Robert Redford star in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. This is the kind of, sort of, maybe-ish true story of two real-life outlaws of the Old West. But what really made Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid stand out is that this tale of the Old West is told with a decidedly modern 1960s sensibility. At the heart of this now classic Western, this is really the story of two men who refuse to conform. They want to live off the grid, work for themselves, and thumb their noses at expectation and authority every chance they get. And those sentiments jived perfectly with moviegoers in 1969, making the film the top box office draw of the year. It also fared pretty well with Oscar voters, earning seven nominations, including Best Picture and winning four Academy Awards for Best Writing, Best Cinematography, Best Score, and Best Original Song, a tune that became a big hit on the radio, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, by composer Burt Bacharach and his writing partner, Hal David. From director George Roy Hill, and also featuring Catherine Ross, part of today's look at Best Picture nominees, it's Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. 